the gentleman who will be presenting is Dr. Mazin Adi. He's a counselor. Let me first uh, thank uh, Mrs. Omani and Mr. Omani and the AIFC for organizing this uh, event. I know it's in a critical time and uh, I'm really glad that we are having this event here in this blessed place, uh, church. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming from Syria. I'm coming from uh, uh, Syria, which is not in its best time now. I'm coming from the place what, where all civilization met. I'm coming from the place from all where all religion came. I know uh, that all of you know that Syria is uh, the home of uh, Islam, Christianity, Judaism. S uh, Christianity uh, started from Syria, with, and we have still have Saint Paul of Damascus uh, buried in Syria. Uh, he's, he's buried in the great Umayyad Mosque now. Uh, Damascus uh, was the capital of the first Islamic state in history and uh, most of the Syrian yeah. cities have a Jewish neighborhood. I'm going to hold it. I, I will. I'll do sure? that. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. And, 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 and the Syrian, uh, uh, Syria uh, called all of the Jewish uh, uh, people, Jewish Syrian, uh, the people of Musas. Uh, I have a written statement here, but I believe that uh, I will be speaking uh, without any written text here. I'll be speaking from the heart. Because uh, for me, uh, I have been uh, working at my mission for uh, over five years, almost six years, and I have been involved uh, fully with the situation uh, regarding Syria since uh, the beginning of 2011. I believe all of you know uh, what has been uh, happening in my country. Uh, it is a trend that everybody been saying about this uh, word of Arab Spring. And I heard some, somebody yesterday, a very respectable uh, official, saying that the Arab Spring is not a spring. It's Arab heat. It's an Arab summer that its heat will reach everybody if we don't deal with that in a very rational way. Let me go back into the history of the crisis that happened in Syria. And at the beginning, we uh, tend not to uh, call it crisis. We wanted to call it a uh, demand from the people of Syria for something that uh, we think it was their right to uh, ask the government uh, for some kind of uh, demands, uh, and we uh, labeled that as a legitimate demand. That's why we were at the beginning, a week after uh, those some kind of demand demonstrations, the government and the president uh, put a, a basket of reform and promises for everybody uh, and uh, uh, they said that we will meet your demands. And the president started receiving people from all over Syria. Every day he would meet more than 200 people. He would uh, meet everybody and take note of their demands. He thought at the beginning, and he was, uh, his, his pledge is to help all of these people. He is their president and he want to help them. If they have a, a demand, he will fulfill that demand. So he took note of everybody's demand. Some, sometimes it, it would be uh, 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 personal, sometimes it would be public, but he took note of everything. He met a huge amount of people. They would come in buses, and he would uh, gather them in a, in a big hall and listen to every and each one of them. That was the belief at the beginning that what we are having is people want to have something legitimate and we are, as a government, wanted to fulfill that because it was our duty. However, we uh, uh, were, uh, you know, encountered by some people who wanted uh, to implement their agenda. 
and uh, to take advantage of those demands uh, in order to have their own agenda implemented in Syria. So that was uh, when, when they started to uh, uh, some kind of, uh, let's say, arm-related activities that would uh, have a, uh, some kind of effect on any peaceful move or any peaceful demand. Uh, this thing, uh, we, we started, we, the government uh, wanted to contain that in a way, and it was, it was little by little in, increased in while the, uh, those demands were raised. Uh, the problem is uh, some countries whom we thought that they are our brothers, uh, uh, some neighboring country, who we opened up with, uh, they, uh, they had a different agenda in their mind. Uh, the problem is, let me give you a little, little bit of background. We are the only Arab state that uh, allows all Arabs to go into Syria without a visa, while other Arab states demand that the Syrians stay and wait for 15 days and more to get a visa if they grant this visa to this Arab, uh, to this Syrian. It's a time when imperialism uh, may not be, uh, there may be confusion on this issue, but I can assure you there that, that anyone who is sincere is on the Syrian people's side on this issue. The voices of Syria, or the voices of, that you are not used to hear, is not heard, like the voices I'm, I'm, I'm representing. We have been in a fight with the media. The media, yes, we, we admit, we, we don't have a strong media. We are not a, uh, we don't have a petrol dollar. Uh, we, 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 don't have, we don't have billions of dollars to spend on, uh, on a satellite channel like Al Jazeera or Al Arabiya. Uh, uh, we don't. Uh, we tried our best in our uh, money to have uh, three or four channels, satellite channels in Syria some newspapers, some websites where we can uh, deliver our message. Uh, in one, like in, in no time actually after the, the, the beginning of what they call the crisis in Syria, we were faced with a, uh, as somebody said, uh, that children use this word humongous humongous media campaign that we have uh, against Syria. And there, are, there were uh, uh, over 35 channels, TV channels, directed to Syria. Uh, they played their very negative role. Apart from Al Jazeera and Al Arabiya, whom they, they started to, uh, right from their inception, to have to gain the confidence of the Arab word that they are speaking in a neutral way. Actually, it was a step to uh, put what they wanted to put to uh, implement what agenda they were asked to do so they can have the audience. We were faced with uh, some ch TV, TV channels broadcasting from one of them from Saudi Arabia, where they have a clerk. A, uh, he called himself Sheikh, but he's not Sheikh. Imagine somebody, imagine you have a channel here in the United States where you have somebody saying, you know what, tomorrow, I'm, today I'm not going to sleep without hearing the news that you killed 50 person from this group or sect. No matter who they are, they should. They can be children because you can kill children because children can get old and they will harm you. I want you to do that. He says so. It's it's not a secret. It's on YouTube. If you know Arabic, you can go and see see it. It's on YouTube. I'm 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 not going to say all of this. You know the media campaign that were against Syria with this limited ability of delivering our voice, we were blocked. The, 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 the Syrian TV channels 
who uh, broadcast in Arabic, even in Arabic, they can, you cannot see them here in the United States, not even in Europe. They were blocked. They, were, they are part of the sanctions. Not only this, the Arab satellite broke the contract with the Syrian TV channels. So the Arab world cannot listen or hear the Syrian point of view. It's only three channels as opposed to 50. And it's only in Arabic. And we are trying to say, this is our part of the story. So this is the problem. That we have a, the, the Syrian Arab news agency. The initials are SANA. It's S-A-N-A -A dot S-Y. This is the uh, official website that has a different cup of tea. If I don't want to say this is the truth. It's a different truth if they think that they have the truth. It's also very hard to get. This is the place where you can you are, you are free to get whatever you want. When you speak about democracy, freedom of speech, and you have some websites because they are not speaking in the same language. And they are really outnumbered when you, when you look at the other, or the, 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 the amount of websites and TV channels directed to have, to, to say the same story. Uh, I, can, I can say something that is still here, and is still uh, uh, accessible, which is uh, uh, our statement at the UN. The statement where we try to, to condense, we try to say as much as we can, actually, as I said, in, in a very short time. And it, it, it's, it might not give the, the, the whole story, but it can give some part of the story, our statements. And by the way, if you go to the website of the UN.org and search Syria, we send to all member states and we ask those uh, letters, letters. We ask those letters to be circulated to everybody as an official document of the UN. And it will be in the history of, of the UN for a long, long time. Over 100 letters since the beginning, explaining everything. We have this. It's on the website of the UN. All official languages of the UN is right there. We have we, we, we provided the UN with everything. We ha we did on Friday provided the UN with the names of 108 terrorists who were arrested in Syria, committing ter terrorist uh, activities in Syria. This this is uh, our side of the story that we can we are trying we are we are trying our best. Hopefully that now we have some channels and we have some people like uh, uh, like you uh, who can who who is digging and want to to, to see the truth uh, of what's happening this year. Uh, think uh, I have I have a question for the our our allies in the region and uh, uh, Russia and China. It, it, it's, uh, you know, in the region, uh, definitely it's, it's no secret that we have, Iran is standing, uh, standing by us, and, uh, because, not because uh, Syria is, is, is uh, they like them and they get, together, they get along together, uh, because they, they have been, it, it's, it's obvious for them, it's obvious for everyone who can think that Syria is under a very uh, harsh campaign, politically, uh, uh, from an information point of view, and uh, hopefully not militarily now, but it's definitely, uh, uh, the, the, the armed flows Definitely, the terrorism that's been uh, uh, exported to Syria is, is, is a, it's a great concern. As for uh, Russia and China, uh, I, I think they are, uh, it, it is the time. It is the time to, uh, for the, uh, what they call themselves the international community, 
sometimes uh, uh, my ambassador uh, say that uh, when you have a community, that means that uh, you take care of all, every member of the community. So none of, not you have a double standard for any member of this community. So uh, I have a reservation. We have a reservation in this world community. But when, when, when Russia and China has a permanent member of the Security Council, I think uh, it, it is time uh, to, to, to stop uh, those policies of uh, uh, intervening in other countries, those policies that runs counter the, 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 uh, the, uh, the charter of the UN that we all abide by, abide with, I'm sorry. So I think uh, uh, what, what Russia and China wanted to uh, give is to give a, uh, uh, another uh, understanding of what's going on in Syria. They have warned since the beginning that what is going on in Syria is not purely what they wanted to let anybody, everybody understand that this is the situation. We have to, you know, what they wanted right from the beginning, if you look at it uh, from, you know, now, uh, if we look back at what happened, they had this series of countries. So, and they had this cross. Yeah, let's have, uh, let's have Egypt cross, uh, Tunisia cross, Libya cross. They want to continue. What everybody was wa wanted to do is, yes, we had Libya. It's two resolutions, one after the other. We arm the opposition, have an opposition, have a resolution, no fly zone. You adopt the resolution. An hour after, the, the, the airplanes start bombard Libya. That's it. One, two, three. This is, the, this is the, 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 the plan that they wanted to implement on Syria. The same plan. So they thought that this is the same plan that they can go to Syria. And from Syria, they, they moved to another place. I don't know where. But this is, this, I don't know. But, uh, Iran, you know, Russia, China. this is what they wanted. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure, and we are, we are a country where we all live together. So, uh, uh, please, uh, uh, you know, let's be clear, we are not, uh, uh, we, we, we're coming from a deep rooted civilization. We don't label a, a, a people of a country in one label. We know who is with us and who is against us. We know that the, the, the United States are not the same. We know that uh, the, is any other country, not everybody are the same. We, we don't label countries. It's really e easy to label a country with, with, with one acquisition, with one uh, uh, stereotype that Syria is like this, Iran is like this, uh, Venezuela is like this. This is really simple. And this is what they are trying to do. They're trying to label all of these countries with one label, so you can, you know, take it and that's it. Don't dig down. That's it. This is the label. As for uh, our friend from Venezuela, when he said something about the 3,000 Al Qaeda, uh, uh, I actually, uh, I didn't want to go into any details. You know that 3,000. It's, it's been in the news. 3,000 Al Qaeda members ready to get into Syria. We have uh, uh, people from all nationalities fighting in Syria now, unfortunately. They are fighting for uh, following some goals from uh, their masters. Uh, each master, has, each, each group has its own master who, who, who pays. And they can package uh, this mission in, in many different ways. They can package it with money, they can package it with uh, a religious belief, they can package it with secretarian belief, you name it. But the ultimate goal is to, is to destroy Syria. This is the ultimate goal, is to destroy Syria. And I can assure you that this is not democracy. Democracy, if you go to the ballot box, so, we say you, all the time, and, and the president said, and everybody said, if we have an election and the president does not win, he will leave. It's not like this. But I think it is a responsibility of the president or of any government not to leave. Now, you cannot leave the country 
and leave it to whom? To those groups. Nobody knows those groups. I, I, I've been asked, you know, for the, for, the, for the opposition, there are many, it's, it's, it's really complicated, you know, at the beginning. We have, there is an opposition inside Syria, and they are against the government, fighting inside Syria, politically, and they want to gain their own, they, they, they want to put their own beliefs. And we have the, the, the vice prime minister is from the opposition. They, we have created a new ministry for uh, conciliation. And the minister for this ministry is from the opposition. They are part of the government now. So at this part, you know, they are more than welcome. Anybody who is not with the violence, he is welcome to come and we can sit and talk. And there's another uh, part of the government who opt for violence. We know that uh, people can get advantage of their whatever need, whatever beliefs, but uh, uh, also for those people who, who hold the arms and they, were not, they, they didn't commit any crime. The government also said, you are more than welcome. We will have a pardon, pardon for everybody. Surrender your arms and you're more than welcome. You're not going to be jailed, not even for one day. But if you go from one place to another, kill people. Uh, nobody, nobody is giving the information about the numbers of military personnel who have been killed. So who killed those people? You know, there are thousands of people who were killed on a checkpoint, on uh, their base. You know that in Syria we have, we have a mandatory draft. Any, person, any, any male who is 18, he has to go to military service. Can be my brother, can be anybody's brother, and he's on, in, 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 on, on duty. They blow him up. So who is, who is killing those people? Why, why they were killed? The amount, who's, who's, you know, how can, we, how, can you, how can you launch a missile against an airplane? And you say you are peaceful? Who gave you this missile? You know, this is a, a lot, of, lot of questions and nobody wanted to answer. Nobody, at the beginning they wanted a swap change, a swap destruction of Syria. Now everybody is talking about what's going on in Syria. Now they are talking about, yes, we have terrorists in Syria. Now, yes, we have intervention in Syria. Why? Because if they wanted to do, it was, it was, it has been since the beginning, but if, if, if they had implemented fully their plan, nobody would have noticed that. You would have a failed state. You would have a state uh, devastated and, uh, and, and destructed and uh, 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 not tolerated at all with anybody. Thank you very much for your question. I hope I answered your question. Thank you, Dr. Uh, we'll next give the floor to Lizzie Phelan.